Well, Aaron, here in the Salinas Valley, leaders of the ag industry have expressed strong opposition to this bill because they say it will actually do the opposite of what was intended. Now, this law goes into effect in 2019, and so farmers have a few years to get on board, but as they prepare for the future, they say this is forcing them to rethink the way they do business. You are working the fields, or you work at factory, or you work another state job, they have a uh, overtime, why not farm workers? Like many farm workers across the state, Luis Magaña is praising Governor Brown for signing a bill that grants them the same overtime pay as other workers in California. But many ag industry leaders say it could actually hurt those it was intended to help. Some growers will just say, okay. Other growers will say, hey, I can't afford to pay overtime after eight or 40 in the work week, and I'm just going to have to limit the hours of my farm workers uh, and thereby, unfortunately, reducing their paychecks. Currently, farm workers are paid overtime after a 10-hour workday or 60-hour work week. The new law requires 8-hour workdays and 40-hour work weeks. But opponents say that doesn't work for seasonal labor. They know that it's intense work for a short period of time, and they expect to make a lot of money during that period of time and to work many hours. Um, so but ultimately what we'll see is a reduction of those hours, I think, for each individual. Hiring more workers will be difficult in Monterey County, where ag companies are already experiencing a labor shortage that left produce giants like Tanimer and Antel unable to harvest all of their crops last year. The wine industry is in the same boat. Some vineyards are investing in machines to do the work. We're seeing this anyway in ag because we already have a labor crisis, um, is increased mechanization. You know, really, I think that's the direction we're headed in. Increased overtime is expected to hurt the bottom line of ag companies, and it's unclear whether it will have an effect on the price of produce or wine, but with an increasing minimum wage, growers say only time will tell. Aaron, Dan, right, Bianca, thank, thank you. Bianca. you.